Can you see the size? Ah, doesn't matter. Now it's going to spring open. With any luck. Oh, there we are. Twenty four TPI. A bit too fine for that. I really need about eighteen TPI. If you land up with a screwdriver with all this swarf on the end because it's been magnetized, quick way to get rid of it. Gone. That's as good as I'm going to get it. Right, let's see how long this blade lasts. The other one did two and three quarter cut. Two and three quarter slice. What the hell? It's come off the roller. Tension, I think. Yep, not enough tension. Bugger, bloody thing. I think I had the same problem last time. Try again. Slowly, slowly. Let's show you how it's working. And here are the others. I'll do another video once I've got them all cut. That's it for now. Hello everyone. Back again. This time with a very early cylinder block. Thanks to Tony Leslie for giving it to me. It's early because it has the screw-in Welsh plugs. It's been sat in a molasses bath for about 10 days in an attempt to get rid of as much rust as I can and not bad when you consider. I wanted an old scrap block because I want to do modifications to both inlet and exhaust ports but I don't know where all the metal is and where it isn't and where all the water passages are. So what better than a scrap block 
to be able to slice to find out where metal is and where metal isn't. There it is. I must admit, the material is pretty good. First slice. It took ages. There it is. And gunked up. All of that is swear. solid gunk. Absolutely solid. No water's getting through there. That isn't much better either, down there. Here, a little bit. That's already come out. Corresponding other end size or side of it, there. Yep, gunked up. Gunked up as well there. That comes off and goes onto there like that. And we have that part came off as well. This is not working out all that wonderful with this camera, is it? Well, I'll see when I start editing. The next slice was through here, but the bandsaw wouldn't go all the way through. It did on that lot, but I broke a blade. So I wasn't going to do that with this one, because that was my last blade. What I did was, I got through as far as possible, then I sliced all the way down the center. That way, and then this came away. And that went... how did that go? Yeah. That went like so. And the next bit was angle grinder all the way down there, and this popped off. Look at the gunk in there. Well and truly blocked. And corresponding blockage here as well. Look at that. Not good. But 80 year old plus cylinder block. Can't expect much more, can we? And here's the port. One of the ports. There it is. I think that is the inlet. That is the inlet port. So I can now tell what to do. Is that the inlet or exhaust? Ah, I don't remember now. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. Isn't it? It's Siamese port. It's a Siamese port. I'm all over the shop, aren't I? No, 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 no. It's a Siamese port because it has that dividing ridge between the two ports. Okay, I'm talking bloody uh, CRAP. I need to check this before I do any more. Bye for now.